Hey everybody, Curtis is here with some more Stormfall Saga Survival. So, okay, we are in the middle of a resource challenge. Unfortunately, this is the resource challenge I don't like, and that's the one that you have to cook food and craft certain items. Uh, those items being you can make smoked meats, hearty soups, turnip soups, potions, marrow, blessed water, healing herbs, uh, roasted meats, and you can make full water skins, bandages, and healer satchels. But unfortunately... You know, the materials for all that stuff are super expensive to make. Most of it. Most of it. Like, the, the the cooking stuff, not so much. But, like, most of the material for all that stuff is, like, pretty super expensive. Like, for instance, this one stack of bandages, which I crafted, takes 60, uh, what you call them, uh, flax linens, 40 potions of Mara, and 40... Snake, uh, 40, uh, spider venoms. You know, that's a little ridiculous, right? It takes a while to collect that kind of stuff. But, anyways, uh, so it really sucks to come off an XP event where you were crafting this stuff to make XP points anyways to come into this event where you have to craft those kinds of things. I would have preferred to have the event where, you know, we went out, I went out and mined more material, to make more material for the next XP event. Which, by the way, I don't think it's an XP event that's next. Uh, no, it is an XP, XP challenge. Okay. So it'll be another XP challenge coming up. But still, you know, like I said, it's pretty uh, unreasonable for uh, for us to get this event, this event after that one. But we have hit the regular reward, which is fine. If we hit the rare reward, that's good too. Uh, we just need to hit 20,000 more points, which I see as possible. But uh, like I said, though, uh, you know, we need uh, more people to be active. And it's a weekday, so I'm not going to fault people for not being too active during a weekday. Because weekdays are just, you know, it's unreasonable to expect people to be on the game for more than a couple hours during a weekday. And... Especially if they're my age, which is, I'm 35. Going on 36 this month, by the way. My birthday coming up uh, on the 16th in 10 days. Anyway, so if you are also new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And uh, let's get started here. First of all, uh, this guy. What, what, what do you want from me? Um... I can get you two of those things right now. The potion of Mara, however. Um, do I have the berries? I think I have the berries. I have eight berries. But I guess where I had more berries. Somewhere. There they are. Okay. Which means then. Damn it. Uh, take all that. Finish that, and there we go. And we'll go ahead and just do all that. Start, finish, take. Thank you, because I have uh, the rest of the. I have the rest of that stuff. So we'll go ahead and uh, finish the Arcanist here today. I know I have. I have the fat. Where is it? I had like a stack and a half of fat. Where are you hiding? Where are you hiding, fat? Well, it's not hiding anywhere on me. Uh, by the way, keto diet. Works very well. There it is. Anyway, so I need that and 20, uh, 20 hides. That's right. 20 raw hides. Which I should have right here. Okay, cool. All right, cool. So we'll go ahead and finish the Arcanist really quick here. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to discuss how to get herbs. Fresh herbs and seeds. A lot of people probably, you know, talk about that, how they're tough. And I'm going to show you guys exactly where to go to get them. Anyways, uh, help you craft. Okay, right, here you go. Boom. I hope you're satisfied, sir. And this sword, oops, this sword here could use a little bit of uh, the repair. 
Thank you. That should get me through most of the places. Anyway, boom. You have reached the new rank, and I get the worksman, workman's hammer, brimstone, and pyro ring. That's, that's not too bad. And we'll go ahead and hit that and hit that. And let's see if I hit any of the other rewards here. Okay, we got some empty amulets, uh, some wand scrolls, and a magic weapon tome. What's in the reward chest here? A wand, some boots, and uh, some brimstone. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Metal collector. Get some sapphires. All right, cool. So, anyways. All right, so I'm going to show you guys all the places where you can get the herbs, herb seeds. And uh, I'll discuss uh, uh, whether or not growing herbs is uh, efficient. So I'll be right back when I get to the first location where you can actually get the seeds and the fresh herbs. Okay, hey everybody, now this is the entrance to the pit caves in the rugged cliffs. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the pit cave. Now I've already cleared out the enemies in here to make this faster. But you're going to go in here and you're going to find these on the ground right here. These contain either herb seeds or fresh herbs themselves. So, you know, we'll really quick here. We'll just run around. And there's going to be spiders, golems. And, you know, I really need to hit these spider corpses. Uh, because I am out of spider venom. Anyways, you're going to hit these. You're going to find herb seeds and fresh herbs themselves. As well as uh, some toads. And actually, I need the uh, cheesecloth, too. Like, I am out of cheese. I've used... And you're going to find more anthracite down here, too. And I don't have an iron pickaxe. I'll have to come back for it. But anyways. You're going to find fresh herbs, herb seeds. Now, in the pit caves, you're not going to find much. In fact, I think this is it. I think it's two herb seeds and one, one fresh herb. Now, that's not a lot overall but we'll get into growing the herbs after i show you all the locations that drop this anyways in addition there's a big chest down here which you want to open this chest could contain more herbs or uh it could just contain whatever so and this actually contains some good stuff uh i'm gonna drop that take that and i'll come back for the uh come back for the other stuff and this chest can contain herbs too, possibly. So always check the chests. Make sure you get what uh, what you got coming to you. Ba -ba -da -ba -bum. Drink that. And I could use that. So actually, yeah, really quick, we're just gonna... We'll just use this really quick, boom. There we go. And I'll take this. All right. All right, and I'll come back for that anthracite later. But anyways, so this is the start of your herb collecting adventure. If you are low level, this is where you want to go to get some of your herbs. But of course, like I said, this is if you're low level. So I'm gonna stop the recording here, go to the next place which is in the Rocky Spires, and we will see you there. Okay, hey everybody, now this is the Pit Caves in the Rocky Spires, which is the Four Skull location. Now, really quick disclaimer, the Pit Caves is not always going to be in the same location in the Rocky Spires. Depends on the map seed you get. There's a couple of them, a couple different ones. So, you know, don't be like, oh, there's no Pit Caves at my Rocky Spires. There are. There, the Pit Caves exist. You just have to find them. So anyways, let's take a look. I have two seeds, four herbs, and we're just going to go ahead and auto-collect. Because I've already cleared the enemies. Uh, really quick, though. Check these stone golem, uh, the, the three uh, three shielded stone golems with 200 HP, because they drop anthracite. Anyways, I don't have room for it, but anyways. Two seeds, four herbs. And we're going to see how much we get here. So far, that's three seeds. One herb. Let's go. 
two herbs. So yeah, that was three seeds, two herbs. So in the pet caves, you will get about three seeds and two herbs. Not really that special. Nothing, uh, nothing special. So anyways, uh, I will hit the next location, which has uh, a uh, which has herbs in it, and that will be the cellar in the raiders' hideout. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, so this is the cellar location. Damn it, I didn't want to, I have the, I have that set up on a certain key. Anyways, I have the uh, location here. This is the cellar in the raiders' hideout. I've already cleared it. There's going to be some spider, dark spiders and some bears down here. Uh, nothing too scary if, uh, if you get to it. So let's see, we have five and six. So we're just going to go ahead and... I have to loot all this manually because I'm not going to destroy all the palisades. So five and six. There's some crossbow traps down here too, but nothing, like I said, nothing too scary. Now the cellar actually doesn't contain much in the way of herbs and seeds. Probably not the best location to go. And I think that's all of it. I had five and six, so I got three seeds and two herbs. Like I said, not the best location to go to find herbs and herb seeds, but you know, if you're raiding, uh, if you're going through a raider's hideout, you should stop in here, anyways. Especially if you need the seeds and the herbs, anyway. And I'll take that, I guess. I mean, in the future, the, the horse stable stuff will become tradable, and uh, that'll be workable. But anyway, so we have one more location to visit that has the herb seeds and the fresh herbs, and that is the grotto in the uh, Chieftain's uh, hideout. So I'll be right back when I get there. Okay, guys, here's the final location that drops herbs and herb seeds. This is the grotto in the Chieftain's stronghold. Now... Uh, the grotto is going to be in a different location depending on the map seed you get in the Chieftain's Grotto. This one was pretty simple. It's just right on the edge of the map. So you can just run right on in. Now the grotto is going to be filled with undead and some the big uh, three shielded go golems. So make sure you come into this place prepared because the undead, they're, they're uh, dark undead which are armored as well. So and there's going to be bone breakers and all the like. So I'm going to run through here, collect all the herbs, and we're going to see how much we get. Because I never really paid attention to how much like this place actually drops in total. So that'll be, uh, that'll be good. Oh, that's right, back to the entrance. Like I went full circle. How dumb am I? Anyway, Oop, there's an herb. Get some herbs. Oh yeah, baby. Uh, keep in mind, though, uh, really quick, though, I, I'm going to touch on growing herbs right now. Growing herbs in your tilt fields requires one water barrel and one herb seed per two herbs. So it is actually technically efficient to grow herbs uh, since it is two herbs per one water barrel. If it was one herb per one water barrel, I would totally be against uh, just manually growing herbs but since it is two herbs to one water barrel that is just fine so make sure you know that you and you only need a uh, one seed also per herb per two herbs uh, i think that's it is that it really we're talking five herbs and six seeds Is that really it? I'm gonna have to go around and make sure. I've over already opened all the chests here, I think. Did I open this one? Yes, I did. Just gonna make another quick sprint through. Just gotta make sure I got everything. I opened this chest. 
No herbs here. I'm pretty certain. That we are in the clear. Yep, we're in the clear. So a, a Chieftain's Grotto will give you six seeds and five herbs, respectively. And that's okay. But again, for the risk and the reward, I don't know if it's that really that much. But it is worth it for the most part. And like I said, you got to be able to grow the seeds too. Because... And actually, you know, it is worth it because this is technically 12 herbs and this is five herbs. So each chieftains will give you technically 17 herbs. So that's not too bad, except, you know, the 12 of those herbs have to come on a timer. So it's not too bad. But uh, just really quick, though, I'm going to go home here, show you guys exactly, you know, where what level your tilt field needs to be, that needs to be to grow the herbs, and uh, just show you what's needed. So, uh, we got 50 seconds here, and uh, I'll be going to the store after this. Lovely stuff, you know. Running those daily errands. Um, 30 seconds here. But yeah, I went back uh, back home and I crafted some stuff because I needed it. But uh, let's see. There we go. Just making sure everything is uh, maxed out there. Gotta make, keep your hunger and thirst uh, full and your HP full. And rip my two star barbarian set. Well, it's not entirely ripped yet, but it's getting there. And boom, we're home. So, what do we got here? I have the stone set in that room right there. So you go over to your tilt field here. You need your tilt field to be at level 8 to make fresh herbs. Now, when you make fresh herbs, you need one herb seed and one water barrel. That will produce two fresh herbs per uh, per cycle, so per 10-minute cycle. So 20 herbs will take 200 minutes, so about two hours, two and a half hours almost, to make a full stack of 20 herbs, which overall isn't too shabby. It's not too bad. And I have, like, you know, 30, 40, uh, 34 seeds. And I'm currently crafting uh, crafting soups for the event. But anyways, though, that is all the time I have today. Uh, if this helped you out in finding fresh herbs, getting fresh herbs, knowing that you can craft fresh herbs uh, efficiently, uh, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Do all that good stuff for me. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see everybody in the next video. Bye-bye.